Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today, it's part responding to a question that came up in, in one of the discussions online about uh, Swatch and the in-house movements and a lot of other things like that. And the, the question uh, ended up centering around uh, Breguet and Block. Uh, Blanc Paint, which are uh, both owned by Swatch. Now, Swatch has uh, seven different watch companies that they consider to be in their luxury and prestige range. The top, Breguet, Blanc Pain, and Harry Winston. Harry Winston being their most recent uh, acquisition. Four others include uh, Glass Hoot Original, uh, Jacques uh, Rose, uh, Leon Hatat, and Omega. All right, so what I want to do is that I, I, I really want to concentrate on Breguet, Blanc Payne, and uh, Harry Winston, but uh, before we get started, in a way, this is a spoiler. Uh, the answer is that our, to the question, are these really high horology? And the answer is very, very much yes. I mean, all we've got to do is take a, uh, take a look at them, at some of the creations. Now, the first three here are uh, Blanc Payne, Breguet, and Harry Winston. The uh, first one, the Blanc Payne Carousel, Minute Repeater, uh, Caliber 5625A. This is all uh, done in-house, okay, at Blanc Paint. I'll, I'll get to what in-house means at Blanc Paint. Uh, some people say, oh, well, yeah, but they're owned by Swatch, which owns ETA, and I bet they're really ETA or something like that. The answer to that is no, they're not. And, and we'll see what they are. Um, second is uh, Breguet Classic uh, Grand Complication that I have there. Uh, again, uh, Breguet has its own movement. Now, Harry Winston, <laughs> it's, I got on my Harry Winston today in honor of this. This Harry Winston is uh, has a Gerard Perigo movement, and then it has an Agenhor uh, module for the bi retrograde. Okay, that's in other words, it was designed by. Jean-Marc Viderec, who was the watchmaker of the year in 2004. I mean, these, this is incredible. I just wanted to introduce this history de tourbillon that it has with double tourbillons and, uh, and each with a double axle. <laughs> they, they do incredible things. Okay, um, now the other four, the um, Gloss Hood original, uh, that one there, I have the uh, Perpetual Calendar. Uh, Omega, I have a DeVille Tourbillon. Uh, Jacques Gros, I have this one called Charming Bird. And there's a little bird, a little mechanical bird that does all this stuff at the bottom. That thing has been in the uh, Grand Prix d'Orologie de Genève. I don't know whether it's ever won or not, but it, it's, it's been one of the finalists <laughs> a couple times. And finally is uh, Leon Hatat, uh, Chrono Love. Uh, of all of the ones that they have in their prestige and luxury, I think the Leon uh, Hatat is more luxury than anything else. And it, they're primarily for women. Most of them are quartz. Uh, but they made some uh, some automatics uh, and a chronometer grade like uh, this one here. But uh, like I said, th these four have their yeah they they do have genuine high horology as part of them. But I don't want to concentrate on them. I want to concentrate on Breguet, uh, Blanc Payne, and um, Harry Winston. Okay, so let's uh, sort of rewind to Blanc Payne. Now, the movement within Blanc Payne is really sort of interesting. In 2010, Frederick Piguet Essay, which is the name of the company, 
became manufacturer Blanc Paint. In other words, they took Frederick Piguet and said, okay, we own you now, so you're going to be the movement maker for Blanc Paint. Okay, it didn't become part of ETA or anything like that. It, it is part of Blanc Paint. Now, here's the irony. In 1983, um, the company called SSI-8 sold the Rayville Blanc Paint. The name Rayville Blanc Paint is another story, but it's Blanc Paint. Now, they sold it to Jacques Piguet, who was the son of Frederick Piguet. So before <laughs> it was before Frederick Piguet became manufacturer Blanc Payne and lost its name, it owned Blanc Payne. <laughs> so that was that was a sort of an interesting thing back in '83, and then in 2010 it became uh, so Frederick Piguet. Um, I know that uh, Harry Winston has had. Uh, Frederick Piguet, I have one of my Vasseron Constantine, my Vasseron Constantine 1972, has a Frederick Piguet movement. Now it's from 2000, so it was 10 years before uh, became part of this, uh, the other thing. Now Breguet was acquired by the Swatch Group in 1999. And what happened was that there was another company that uh, Swatch on called La Mania, uh, or Le Mania, I, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, sorry again. Anyway, uh, they became Manufacture Breguet. They were never part of ETA, okay? However, what is now called Manufacture Breguet also makes movements for other watch companies that are part of Swatch, okay? I'm not sure which one, but it makes some of them, okay? All right, um, so that's sort of a quick background. Now, when we take a look at Blanc Paint, <laughs> Blanc Paint is, uh, I, I put a perpetual calendar uh, with a moon phase, and next to it I have the movement that was created by a uh, manufacturer, Blanc Paint, in other words, the old uh, Frederick Piguet, and I mean, it's as high horology as anything I've seen from Pat F. Philippe or Vacheron Constantine or any of the other ones. Now, they also have a division that is part of it that makes erotic watches. And they have this, uh, they have this repeater. A repeater, a minute repeater is a high horology type of movement. But then they got on the back of the thing, they got a porno scene going on, which is like, I don't know, like haven't they seen the internet? Anyway, so uh, that's blank pain. This was, uh, that that report, there was a guy who was, uh, who was a watch um, writer, reporter, and he took a tour of blank pain. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. Okay. Um, now, next is Breguet. You'll be happy to know they're, they quit making erotic watches, but in 1820, they had some of the most, <laughs> just, they, they were really into it. I don't know. I, I mean, like, <laughs> these things are for telling time, but I guess they put on a little peep show uh, in the meantime. Okay, here's Breguet. Uh, this is the uh, Marine 5887. Uh, this has a solar time, a regular time, a tourbillon, a perpetual calendar. I mean, that's, that's, it's, it's like, again, uh, I don't, and, and, it, and it's by, it's created by uh, Lemania. Now, remember, Lemania, which is not, is now called Manufacture Breguet, they made the movement for the first moon watch for the Omega, for the Omega's uh, Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Okay, so that, it's a good, solid, you know, high horology if there ever was one. Okay, uh, finally, coming back to Harry Winston. Um, I've talked to the guys in uh, the Harry Winston um, uh, 
boutique in uh, New York City. By the way, they have two of them. On one side of the street, they have the old one with that famous arc. Then the new one, they uh, some, I guess, must have been swatched. They bought the buildings next to sort of the newer of the two Harry Winston uh, boutiques. They have, on one side of the street, they have, I guess, facing... Uh, Tiffany's on the left side of the street is, is where this one's located. But right next door, they're building a, a Breguet Blanc Payne store. And so here you're going to have Blanc Payne, Breguet, and Harry Winston all together uh, on Fifth Avenue, which I think is sort of interesting. Okay, uh, here are some Harry Winston watches. First of all, these particular watches are, they're priced in the... Uh, over a hundred thousand dollars. That midnight minute repeater, I think, originally was priced at like two hundred ninety-eight thousand uh, dollars, which is which is quite a bit. Uh, and the movement is called HW one zero zero six. Well, Harry Winston doesn't have a sort of a movement element, but they they hire people to put watches together for them or use other other good companies, and so. Uh, the, the Harry, I, I'm not sure what they're going to do with Harry Winston. One of the guys at the uh, boutique told me, he said, well, from now on, they're going to have um, Breguet. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not Breguet, but um, Blanc Pain Movements. And then another guy told me, he said, yeah, they're going to have Blanc Pain Movements. They're going to be a special part of, <laughs> of Blanc Pain, and they're all, the movements they're, they're going to have are only for Harry Winston. So I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. It's, it's going to be interesting to see. Now, they have this program they've had for years called Opus. Uh, and this particular one is Opus 14. The watchmakers they, um, con uh, contracted to make this watch. A couple guys named Frank Orney and uh, Johnny uh, Giardine. These guys made something for uh, Mont Blanc that was uh, considered a major feature. And again, they, they give it a, uh, a HW designation 4601 for this monster movement with this monster watch, Opus 14. Now, the first Opus, Opus 1, was by F.P. Jorn, and they've had it by... Uh, Jean-Marc Viderec, you name it, the, the top names in, uh, in watchmaking have been making uh, movements for this Harry Winston Opus series. So now here's what you have with Harry Winston. Harry Winston is one of the companies that doesn't have an in-house movement per se. Okay, if they get one with uh, Blanc Pain, then, the, then I guess you, you could say they have one. But it, it's in a way, it's 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 a very good thing I mean, because they get these really good ones. Here's my Harry Winston has Gerard Perigo. They make excellent movements, but then they have something on top of that by Jean Marc Viderac with the by retrograde. And the thing about these, these aren't too expensive. You can get a by retrograde if you can find one for not too much. Uh, they're, they're really very good buys for the kind of quality of the watch you're going to get. And again, you're going to get gold or white gold or something like that. I don't even know if they make them in steel. Uh, but anyway, that's sort of the one of the things about Harry Winston of their three top uh, luxury or prestige watches. So anyway, so the, so the answer to the question, does Swatch make true high horology watches? And the answer is, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, some of it is in-house, some of it isn't. Harry Winston isn't, but it may become part of, they may they may have their um, movements made by the Blanc Pain manufacturer, which is, in fact, Frederick Piguet. Okay, well, uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. Uh, I'm always interested in it. You can find some fabulous bargains, by the way, uh, with both uh, Blanc, especially Blanc Payne, but also with uh, Breguet. The others, um, I don't know that is, it, well, uh, Gloss Hoodie uh, Original is another, just a real excellent uh, watchmaker that you can find some good buys with in high horology. Uh, I don't know that much about Jacques Droz. I've 
always like the looks of them. I'm going to try to find out more. We'll have a report on them some later time. Meantime, let's hear from you. By the way, too, uh, this uh, Friday, this coming Friday, uh, there there's going to be the um, Watch Time show in uh, New York City on uh, Friday and Saturday. I hope to uh, see some people there. So uh, if I see you there, great. And until next Friday, this has been Bill Sanders with Watch Art Society, the Art and Science Watch Collection.